Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Binod Silwal. Welcome to today's webinar for missed hired visa check integration. Um, feel free to drop your questions in the chat box if you have any. We will compile all your questions at the end of the meeting and then uh, get back to you either by agenda tickets or separate emails. Uh, so um, today's webinar is about uh, missed hired visa check integration. So in this session, I will um, I will talk about how to do the visa check through MIST platform uh, seamlessly. So this uh, feature will avoid your manual work uh, going to the department's website separately and doing the visa checks there. Um, so I'm uh, I'm your integration consultant for MIST Group. So if you have any questions later on, you can uh, easily reach out to us. Uh, you can come to support at mistgroup.com.au or you can uh, give us a call. So we're happy to answer all your questions. So let's get started. Uh, in today's webinar, I'll cover uh, the, the overview of the integration. Uh, I'll talk uh, briefly about how to do the configuration. It's pretty much simple uh, configuration for this integration. Uh, how you can manage the access and permission for the visa check feature. Uh, so we offer this integration in various tiers. So I'll talk about that tier as well. Uh, so visa check filters available in the platform. What filters you can use to get the uh, desired uh, list of records to do the visa check. Uh, some of the icons relevant to this integration. Uh, I'll also talk about the visa check process. I'll go in detail in this uh, in this section. I'll also talk about the log and report available for this visa check feature. So as I said, uh, if you have any questions, feel, uh, please feel free to uh, drop a message. Please include your name and uh, your college name as well, so that you know we uh, we can recognize who you are, and then we can reach out to you uh, easily. First, uh, first thing first, the integration overview. So uh, this integration is fairly simple. Uh, so nothing complicated actions required. So the setup uh, setup part is very easy. So all you need is the EME account for your organization. So when you have an EME account for your organization, you can simply use the credentials that you use to log in to the EME account platform. Uh, so you just need to um, configure those username and password in the system. You need to um, ac accept the department terms and conditions and that's done. So once uh, you, you configure that, then the setup is done, then you're good to go and you're good to use the visa check feature. So uh, this feature uh, uses fast verification method. So whenever you send a visa check request, either the uh, response is instant or it might take up to a few seconds, 10 to 20 seconds, depending upon the uh, load in the API. So uh, this again is dependent, dependent on the uh, queue for the visa checks in the uh, department VEVO, uh, VEVO, uh, API. So uh, uh, depending on that queue, we will get the res response either quickly or at the same time. So the so basically the integration works based on the fast verification method. The integration is already available in your platform. So if you check your platform now as well, uh, you can see uh, the visa, visa check feature is already there. So it's by default enabled for all the uh, platform all the clients regardless of you want to use it or regardless of you have purchased or not so uh, if you check uh, under admin and configuration section you will see the section to configure the visa check uh, credentials and under the offers page you will see the uh, page called visa check so you can go to that section and then start using the integration so, uh, like whenever you want so it's already available there no need to activate it separately on your platform unlike other integrations so this uh, feature works based on few few tiers. So we have a few options available for the tier. So you can choose to um, use any of the tier and then uh, you can do the visa check. So I'll talk about the tiers in the later slides. Uh, the visa check can be done in bulk or you can do the individual visa checks. So everything is consolidated under one page. So you can select one record or up to 20 records at a time and do the visa checks. So uh, the, the page gives you flexibility to do uh, bulk or individual visa checks. Um, it can be done for both uh, offers and students. So you can uh, do the visa check from individual offer section as well, uh, which will ultimately redirect you to the visa check page. Uh, and you can also do it for the students. Uh, so just to make sure that the existing students also uh, might need to do a visa check 
uh, to offer them a new course or to check them if they are still eligible for, for the um, studying studying the courses in your organization or not. So it's available under both offers and students. So first part is about configuration. So as I mentioned before, uh, simply you need to have a provider's uh, EMEA account. So that EMEA account you use to log in to EMEA uh, department's website uh, to do the waiver check as well. So you can simply put the username and password for that uh, EMEA account in the MEST visa configuration section, and you just need to uh, agree to the department's terms and conditions. So these terms and conditions are managed by department itself. So basically this means that uh, you consent to use the uh, to use your credentials by the third party to to the waiver check. So once that's con uh, the consent, you you uh, provide the consent and agree to the terms and conditions. You save the details and uh, that's done. So configuration is completed. Uh, this can be done under admin configuration setup. You'll see a separate section called visa check configuration. So you can set up these uh, details, you can reset or you can update it at any point of time. So this can only be done by the S admin user just to make sure that it's only done by the authorized person. This page is only available for the S admin users for your uh, platform. Um, the other important point for doing the visa check through this API is for your uh, EME account, you should have the uh, waiver service enabled for your EME account. So on, if you see under your um, summary under the uh, EME account, you, you you will see what services are um, enabled or what services are approved for your EME account. So it could be a study entitlements, it could be some other checks, uh, but uh, for this visa check feature, you must make sure that you have this Vevo uh, check service enabled. If it's not, you can go to the section called request additional services. You can simply uh, request for this service and then department will review your application and they will um, they will provide that service or approve the service for you. It might take up to a couple of business days, but that can be done by department uh, upon your request. In terms of MEST platform, uh, SME users can do the visa check feature. They can uh, do the configuration at any point of time. But if you want to uh, assign some user roles or a particular user to do the visa check, you can also give the permission for that user. So the permission name is visa check. You can find it under the permission name section. Uh, you can assign it to the particular roles or under the particular role as well. If you want to assign it for a few users only, then you can select the users and assign the permission. So it works uh, same as any other permission in the system. So whoever has that permission can only use the visa check feature. Uh, regardless of having permission, anyone may see the visa check feature, but they can't use it. So if they attempt to do the visa check, system will restrict them saying that you don't have enough permission. So you just need to uh, enable the permission for that user. Uh, so as I said, again, the only the users with the permission assigned will be use, able to use the visa check feature. So now about the tier information. So um, system will display under the tier information section, uh, which is under the offers visa check section. Uh, it will display your current tier. By default, all the platforms will be under the free tier. So that means you can do up to 10 visa checks per month. Uh, and then it will also display the number of visa checks you have done successfully and the day of the next reset. So uh, this uh, visa check will reset every uh, first of the every month. So if you do 10 visa checks for the month of October, then in for the and on the 1st of November, uh, you will be still able to do 10 more visa checks. So that, that will reset, in, reset at the first of uh, the next month. Um, so uh, talking about the tiers, uh, as I mentioned, free tier is available for all the platforms at the moment. If, if anyone wants to uh, purchase additional visa checks, so we have a standard tier that will allow you to do 50 visa checks per month. If you want to do a premium uh, tier, then it will allow you to do 150 visa checks per month. And if you want to do a custom uh, uh, visa checks account, then we have a custom tier as well. So that can be uh, negotiated and that can be discussed with our team further. So these are the available tiers. As I mentioned, uh, simply you can start using with the free tier at the moment as well. And then once you want to upgrade, you can contact us and then we can take you to the further steps. Uh, regarding the visa check, now you will see a page called visa check under the offers tab. Uh, so that page will have a few filters to uh, browse the records. Uh, some of them are campus filter. If you want to do visa checks for a particular uh, students under a particular campus, uh, 
uh, visa check filter. This this will include not checked, completed, um, refresh, request uh, sent, and so on. So I'll talk about this statuses in the later slides. We can search by the IDs, uh, and there are further uh, filters based on the stage. If it's the offer stage or if it's the student stage, uh, you can sort by descending and last check and so on. So by default, the system will exclude the resident students from the visa check um, uh, visa checklist records because obviously they don't need to have a visa check. So system automatically includes uh, the student that has origin type as resident or the domestic students. Uh, there are a few icons that are only applicable for this integration so the first icon is about showing or hiding the tier information as i mentioned in my previous slide uh, you will see this icon where you can hide the tier information or show the tier information at any point of time if you want to see the details uh, in this grid then you can simply uh, expand the grid so that's that icon so check visa is the icon which you will click to do the visa checks uh, after you select the record and when you're ready to do the visa check so this calendar icon will give you the history of the visa checks done for each record. So if you want to see what has been done before for that particular record, you can click this icon. There will be a, uh, an icon called refresh status. So this icon will be available only for a category called request send. I'll talk about that in a later slides as well. So this uh, icon will simply fetch the API response from uh, the API if anything has not been received yet. So this feature comes handy when you do a lot of bulk checks and then if for some reason we, you don't get back the re API response instantly. So this tick icon, the gray one, uh, means that uh, the visa check has not been done before or uh, even if it has been done, then the successful visa information was not retrieved yet. So that means um, so you will see these icons on the offer profile or the student profile. If you see this, then you you can you will know that either you, the successful visa check has not been done, or uh, you have not uh, even done uh, any visa checks for that particular record. And once we once the API gives us back the success response, which means that uh, it returns the visa information successfully, then only change, uh, changes to green, and then. Uh, for the commercial purpose, only the green, uh, the records which has the green tick enable will be only counted towards the chargeable visa checks. So only the one with the green tick will uh, be counted towards this visa check number. So if anything has come successfully back, then only this counter gets increased. Um, coming back to the icons, um, the last one is the back button. Obviously, when you uh, go to the visa check page from either offer or student profile, and you want to go back to the same section, you can simply click this one and it will take you back to the original section where you were uh, redirected to the visa check page. So now uh, let's uh, talk about the visa check feature in a bit detail. So under the visa check page, you can select uh, multiple records at a time. As I mentioned before, you can do it individually or select n number of records. Uh, at the moment, let's say if you are under a free trial, uh, free uh, tier, then uh, you're allowed to do 10 visa checks uh, at a time. So if you select 11 uh, visa checks uh, record here, then system will uh, prompt an, a message saying that you're only allowed to do up to 10 visa checks. You can't proceed further. So if you do anything below 10, then you will be able to do the visa check by this check visa icon. Then system will give you a confirmation message saying that uh, you're, like, you're sure to proceed ahead. If yes, then confirm. So uh, on, on, under this page, the, the confirmation message is a bit important because uh, you would want to review and confirm before sending the visa check because if API is, uh, sends back the valid response, uh, then you will be charged for that uh, visa check. So just to make sure that you only do the visa check for the required records only, uh, you just need to confirm that. So once you confirm, system will uh, give you a message that visa check is sent successfully. You will either receive the response instantly, which will be under completed status, or if the API doesn't give the response at the same time, it would be under request sent status. Uh, if there is an, any error like uh, failure messages, then it will also um, land under the failure status. So there are three statuses uh, for the visa check uh, status. As you can see, it's uh, not checked at the moment. It, it, it could be either not checked, completed, failure or request sent. So I'll talk about all these statuses and what they mean and then uh, what uh, if they count towards the visa check number or the billing or not in the next slide. 
uh, if, as I mentioned uh, before, if the tier information has passed, uh, tier limit has passed, sorry. So in that case, the system will stop you from doing the further visa checks. We are um, uh, doing a change for this one and uh, allowing users to do uh, visa checks as like pay as you go method, uh, but that will come in the next releases. So I will talk about that uh, at the end of the session. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, it could the visa check responses can be either uh, like completed, failure, uh, request sent. So the completed could mean that uh, the, the API sent us back the valid response. It could be either, uh, let's say, the person not found or the success message. That means the va valid visa has been, uh, information has been provided back. So you can see all these uh, details in the visa check page itself. So the request sent um, status uh, means that API response is not yet not received. For that uh, particular uh, status filter, we have this uh, refresh status icon here. So when you do that, then it will uh, retrieve the visa check uh, information from the API. So once you do that, it will uh, clear all these records on the request send and move them to either completed or failure, depending upon the response from the API. So um, the list of statuses, uh, the relevant response codes and description, and if they come towards the visa check counter or not, or in other words, we, uh, what are the statuses that will be billed? So in that case, completed could mean either Vivo uh, account no access. That means uh, your EME account doesn't have uh, Vivo service enabled yet. So in that case, you, you have to uh, send a request to the department to um, to allow or to give me the permission for that uh, service for your email account. So you need to request from email account itself. Uh, the other one is person not found. So let's say the details recorded in the system doesn't match with the uh, Vivo service and uh, the API can't find the person based on that details. So this integration will check the person based on their date of birth, passport, and the country of issue of passport. These three information are uh, the key information that we pass for the uh, visa check. So either of this information, if, if it doesn't match, then this error is triggered. So you, you can either update the record in the system, like th their passport number, date of birth, or country of birth, you can uh, uh, update in the system, or you can, uh, you can continue further uh, for the next visa checks. Uh, the other one is success. So this is this means that the visa information has been retrieved successfully. So it could be it could give you let's say for an example 500 subclass visa. Uh, Eastern has uh, full authority or full uh, visa conditions for study entitlement, study entitlements, and so on. So API gives back the visa details as per the Vivo. So success message is also under completed visa check status. Uh, the other one could be failure. So in that case, the Vivo login error is the one of the um, examples. So this means that the EME account username or password is incorrect, or uh, let's say the password for your EME account has expired. So in that case, you will uh, re receive this error. And then yeah, for this error to just to um, debug this error, you can uh, update the credentials in the mess system and that should work as uh, normal. The other one is request send. Uh, I've talked about this already. So if API doesn't give back the response instantly, then it goes under the request send. You can go and do the refresh status at any time and it will give back the actual response. So out of all these uh, statuses, only the success one is uh, counted towards billing. And uh, just to uh, reserve the visa check counter for uh, the, the records for which we have not received the API response yet, uh, we just reserve the uh, visa check records uh, counter for request sent as well. And after that, uh, after you do the refresh status, if we get back the success, then it's charged. Then it, if it goes to any other statuses like uh, account no access, person not found and so on, then it will not be charged. So this is just a reserve of, uh, this is just to reserve the visa check counter, whereas this is the actual um, chargeable visa count. So uh, in summary, uh, only the successful visa checks are chargeable to you. And uh, uh, you can see these statuses in the reports and log and cross verify with the number of visa checks you have done as well. Um, 
continuing forward so when the successful visa check is done uh, as i mentioned before you can click this calendar icon to see the visa check history the history will give you who checked uh, the uh, who initiated the visa check uh, what the response was received so uh, the information that we get back from the api is the response code which obviously will mean either success or uh, any other relevant errors uh, like the one I said, where person not found, uh, what the um, response actually means, what is the visa type, uh, what is the visa name, the visa details, like it will have a description based on the visa uh, category. So for the student visa, it might say that student visa for students completing studies in Australia, uh, the visa grant date and the visa expiry date. So these information are retrieved back from the api and stored under the visa check history page so you can go at any point of time and see the visa information for these records um the next information is uh, uh that you can do you can do multiple visa checks um, for you can do multiple visa checks for any record so if uh, you you did a visa check for a record and it's it gave you an error then you can still go back and do the multi uh, visa check for that same record again all the activities done for that uh, particular record is stored under its relevant history page so you can see all the history for that uh, visa check record including uh, the user who checked and the timestamp as well so uh, i mentioned before as well so you you will see the uh, a tick icon gray one under the offer profile page or student profile page for now let's only talk about the offer profile page so this will this means that uh, the visa check has not been done before for this particular offer or even if it was done before uh, the api never gave back the successful visa check uh, successful visa information so in that case it remains in that case it remains gray so you can simply click this uh, button it will take you to the visa check page again it will pre-populate all the information you can simply do the visa check so so if you uh, decide to go back to the offer page you can simply click on back button it will take you to the offer page again so now let's say if you do the visa check for this record from here uh, then uh, the api response api gives back the successful visa response then uh, the icon will change green uh, and then it will give you a message saying that uh, last check was on a particular date click this to see the visa information it will take you again to the same page and give you the response accordingly for the details you can go to the uh, history page and see the details at any point of time as i mentioned again uh, it will only turn green when the api gives back the success uh, response similar goes for the student profile as well uh, so you can see that um, tick button in the student profile as well similar story so you if you have if the visa check has not been done before or even if it was done and it was not never a success then it will stay gray you can go to uh, click this button go to the visa check page and do the visa check upon the successful visa check it will turn green Sim uh, similarly you can uh, click this icon and see the visa check history uh, so let's say your offer is converted to student in that case uh, this visa check information gets carried over from offer to student as well so you don't have to do it separately for that student if not required so the visa check information including the history gets carried over from offer to the student page as well um, one more information we maintain is under the students com log uh, sorry the offer com log or student's diary so we record the visa check activity under the student com log so you can refer to this page at any time simply go there and then uh, see the message it will uh, it will record the visa check response who did the visa check and uh, like few other details as per the visa check uh, api response now about the log and report the main uh, important log, uh, log that we maintain for this visa check feature is the configuration log because uh, as it is a compliant information the email account details are pretty, like crucial and sensitive so we want to make sure uh, we record it properly who did the configuration and what information was entered obviously the username and password that was entered in the system will be encrypted uh, and we will uh, record the uh, log or you know details of who did the configuration when what was it done uh, all those details under this particular log uh, so you will you can see this log under the uh, missed view log section uh, the other information is 
the report. So under the student services, you, you will have a report called visa check request between two dates. So this, uh, this report is basically a summary of all the visa check activities done between two dates. So if you run a report between two dates, you will see uh, all the information, including the visa, uh, visa check response, who did the check, for which student, what response was received. If it, any response is not received, then it will still have the information of who did the check and so on. This is to retrieve the each and every activity for the visa check done between two dates. So this report is very important to see the history of uh, the visa check activity in the system. Uh, the last uh, piece of information for this webinar is that we are currently working on uh, two additional features. First one is uh, allowing the users to do pay-as-you-go visa check after the monthly limit is reached. So let's say you, you are on a standard tier and then 50 uh, visa checks has been done for a month. You want to do five more. Yeah, the system will allow you to do five more, but then later on the finance will uh, bill you for those additional five uh, visa checks. So we are uh, working on that and then it should be available in uh, next release or the, the uh, release after. So it will be available soon. So we're working on that at the moment. And uh, there will be one more report for your entirely for your finance section. So that is to see only the uh, visa check records where the successful records has been done. That is to ensure that you are charged for the correct visa check uh, numbers only. So regardless of uh, like, unlike this report, which has all the records for all between two dates, that report will have um, the records which only had the successful uh, response code from the system. So that means all the records under that new report are subjected to billing from our side. So this will be important for your finance uh, finance team as well. So that's uh, pretty much it about the visa check feature uh, that we have for MIST hired platform. Uh, it, as I mentioned, it's very simple integration. Uh, already uh, already available in your platform. You can straight away start using it. And if you have any further questions, uh, you can contact us at support at misscoop.com.au or you can bring us anytime. So we're happy to help you. Uh, and after we receive your uh, inquiry, uh, we can guide you further for the user guide and demo and so on in detail as well. So yeah, uh, if any other questions, you can drop in the chat box. We'll get back to you soon with an answer. Uh, if if uh, there's nothing more, then yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Uh, thanks for your time, everyone. Uh, have a good day ahead.